I know that I say it all the time. You've heard me saying it over and over and over again. But it's like once you figure it out, everything becomes like it's like playing um who remember mario brothers did any of you ever play nintendo did you ever beat mario brothers when you get to the end of the game and you get through king cooper at the end of the game i bet none of y'all even beat mario brothers see i'm from the N nintendo era so we used to play nintendo and Mario Brothers, that was the game. See, now I'm, I'm bringing that up as an example, right? That's how life feels, man. It's like, especially when you have figured out how the nuts and bolts of things operate in this world, what we call the uh, HPB realm. When it gets to that point, when you have real wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it gets to a point where it feels like you're doing things for nothing. It's almost like you put in all of this effort in life, right? Let me give you a, a perfect analogy. Okay, imagine you was running a race in the Olympics and you was running the um the 50 meter dash okay and you train all year round until the olympics for that one day for that track meet but all the while while training you it's a clause in it the clause is you understand that at the end of that race you will just drop dead. That's how life is. It's like, especially when you got this HPB information, it's like you put in all of this work and effort and into something, but at the end of that something, no matter what, even if you won that Olympic race, no matter what, you still drop dead and nothing you do changes how this world is set up. Nothing changes it. It's like, it's like a pointless, a pointless race. It's like a pointless race that you, that you are running. And that's why I look at things the way that I do, because to look at it any other way is pointless. So the only way I can find some type of purpose in his life is looking at it through an HPB perspective. Otherwise, my outview, my outview on life is pointless. Like you walk around and you see people like where I'm at now. I'm situated in a nice area, but Further ahead is people at tables and they doing yoga and they drinking coffee and they talking and, you know, as I make this video, I hear a bird chirping. So when I walk past them while they sitting at their tables and on the cell phone or having little conversations, to me, it just sounds like chirping, chirping of birds, because nothing that they are saying resembles what I'm telling you right now. It's just background noise. It's just, it's just noise in the background. And it's like, the more I understand, the more I realize that it's nothing in this world for me that's going to teach me anything. Because now it's starting to rain. The most that you can get out of this life
it's like the most that you can get out of this life is as much that is put into this life far as the program i like to call it um the law the law of input and output meaning you can't get from something you can't take away from something no more than what's put into something so for instance if you go into a store and the only thing they have on the shelves is just a few items that's the only thing that you can purchase from that store is what they are selling on the shelf. So it's the same way for this HPB realm. Only thing they show you is what makes everyday things operate like a store, gas station, library, but everything they offer you, it doesn't teach you to grow beyond what it is that they offer you. It's the same old offering every generation. Every generation of people, they get the same old offering. We offer you this, you go to school, you learn basic mathematics, you learn basic language skills, you learn basic social studies, everything. Everything is the same, the same offering. So when I look at it, so when I look at it from that angle, when I look at it from that angle, I say to myself, When I look at it from that angle, I say to myself, if I was like everybody else, okay, yeah, you can go out, try to start a business, this, this, and that, that's all good. But at the end of the day, that's not fulfilling. It's not fulfilling, but it provides you monetary means of survival, and that's it. So what I'm saying is, I'm making a point to prove that the existence of the HPB realm is real. It's, it's all around you. You just got to think and understand what I'm saying to you. You see, for instance, let's say if people didn't die and nobody told you this information. Let's say in an example scenario, people didn't die and there was no such thing as left side of the brain. You never knew about what I'm saying, but nobody would ever die in, the, in this example. So that means people would be born into the world. You would live a life. Let's just say people live to be 500. You would go from zero to 500 and the world wouldn't change. It'll be the same thing. Sunrise, sunset, wake up, go to work, pick kids up. If you live to be 500, pick great, great grandkids up from daycare, take them to McDonald's to get a milkshake. Nothing would change. It would be the same old recycled, time spent on this planet it'll be the same old same old nothing would change nothing would change and even when you look at like like i like to use the um the law of exceedings even when you look at nature itself like the seasons when you look at the seasons the when when, the, when fall comes comes the leaves turn color and they, they, they fall into the ground. And it doesn't change. Even if there was no humans on this planet, the seasons would, would be the same. You don't believe me? You don't think they got seasons on, on planets like Mars and Jupiter and Saturn? They got seasons too. But if no one live on those planets, we don't know. But I'm saying, 
from what we know, nobody lives on those planets. Maybe they could, maybe we don't, maybe they don't. That's not the, um, the, the point. The point I'm making is, let's just say nobody was on Mars. They still got seasons taking place on Mars. And to put somebody on Mars wouldn't change the redundancy of how seasons come and go on Mars. Likewise, on this planet Earth, that's why I was saying with the, um, the mathematical formula that proves the existence of the HPB realm, no matter how many people are born, no matter, no matter how many people die, it doesn't change the constant cycle of a permanent state of redundancy on this planet. I'll repeat, no matter how many people are born or no matter, no matter how many people choose not to have kids or any of that, it doesn't change the fact that, that the permanent state of redundancy will, will forever exist on this planet. Will, it will forever exist on this planet. It doesn't change. Like That's just how time is spent on this planet. That's why they even say it, even in the word. How are you going to spend your time today? You get it? Spend. They spelling it S-P-E-N-D, but the subliminal message within the word spend is S-P-I-N. Like a carousel, like a merry-go-round. Remember you was kids and you went on a merry-go-round? So when somebody says, how are you going to spend your time? When you're spending time, it always comes back to the same point within the within the 360 degree circle. So if you started your day right here at 12 a.m., the clock spins and you spent your time the same way. It's gonna go right back to 12 a.m. Go to sleep. Okay, kids, go to bed. <sighs> Gotta get up in the morning at, to go to work at six o'clock. Wake up. And Kids, get up. Jeremy, you're late for the, um, you're late. You're going to be late for the bus. All right. All right, mom. I'm sorry. Like, hey, get off that video game. The bus is out there. You better not uh, miss that bus or you're going to be on two-week punishment. Blah, 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 blah. That's it. Now, imagine if you live a life like I'm explaining to you and you don't include what we, what we teach about on this channel. Now, do y'all get what I'm saying? You will be just built into this thing. You would be like a human prison bar built into the program. And people that are built into the program, they don't talk about things that go against the program because they, they, are, they are a part of the program. Kind of hard to talk with his mask on sometimes. They are part of the program, you see? And that's how it is. Like, it's like, it's boring, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This is boring, man. Life is boring, man. Life is boring, man. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. This shit boring, man. It's like, that's why sometimes I wish I get abducted by, by a UFO or something. I just want to see something else, man. Like, I wish a UFO abducts me. Like a not not no bad not no bad aliens, but another species of 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 benevolent creatures or something. Like they can come and scoop me up and just take me on up out of here, man. Because by the way, I did. Well, that's another video. I did have an experience, but I already told y'all about that. So that's not what this video is about. But yeah, I'll be wishing sometimes that I could just. Go to another planet. Be abducted. Because life on this planet sucks, man. It sucks. It sucks to be a human, man. <laughs> it sucks to be a human. When you don't... When you know, it's even worse when you a jag and you a human. You know why? Because those people that we look at they feel like, oh, oh, today's gonna be wonderful. Let, 
How, how is it going to be wonderful? You're not getting no insights about anything. But that's what makes it wonderful for them. But for Jack, when you see this stuff, you don't look at the world the same. You're looking at the world like, damn, man, is this it? That's how you feel as a Jack. You know, your emotions change about this world. You don't, you may be in a room full of everybody, full of a whole lot of people, but in your mind, you by yourself. Cause you know that they just objects. Remember that video we did about objects? How many of y'all been keeping up with the videos? You gotta keep up, cause everything connects. Like, you will be in a room full of people and realizing that these people are just animated. They no different than that couch in the room. The person in the room that's sitting on the, that's sitting on the couch, they no different than the couch that they sitting on. They just scenery. They don't, they don't, they don't move anything. They move around. They move around, but they don't move anything far as changing the structure of how this thing operates. And when I say thing, I mean the HPB room. They don't change anything. They just moving around. Even the political system is, a, is an illusion. Every four years, they switching presidents. That's why I don't get caught up in that. Remember the, the video I did around the time when um, the president elections was taking place? And I was like, why I don't vote? And I was breaking it down. I'm saying the same things now. It's like, that's why I can't work for people. I can't work for people, man. I work for myself because I know how I am. I can't go to no job and be around these people. I tried it before in my life. It doesn't work. I'm not cut out for it, man. If I go on a job, they're going to know something different about me because they HPBs. I can't have no, no smooth selling experience on a job. I've tried it before. It doesn't work for me. So I'll be wondering sometimes, like, some of these people, they keep jobs for like, they'll be on the same job for 20 years and moving up the, so the ladder, you know, the ladder, you know, manager to this, assistant manager to manager to branch manager. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be like, how in the world? How do you do that? How, how, how could you be at the same job for, for that many for that many years. I'm talking, I'm talking about those like corporate jobs when you gotta deal with people and stuff. Now it's some, I know you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't want nobody to feel bad because some of you have jobs. But if you got like a, a truck driving job or something like that, that's, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Because you driving, you don't have to be in an office setting. And even if you have an office job, I'm not knocking that you have the job, but I'm saying, just peep the other employees around you. You gotta be of a certain mentality to make it in this world. And that's another thing I'm trying to convey in this video. They don't teach you that. When we in school, when we are in these colleges and universities, they don't tell you that you have to have a certain mentality to climb the ladder in this world. They'll tell you everything else. They'll give you trainings on this and that, but they don't tell you the key thing that when you go to this job interview, you gotta be socially accepted. Simple as that. They don't tell you that. They wanna make it seem like they want to make it seem like, oh, you study, you pass the test, that's it. That's not true. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie, man. Man. I'm just tired of it, man. That's why I do these videos. Simply, 
Simply put, I'm tired of this. And I'm gonna just end it right here. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of this shit. And just let this message, <laughs> I'm speaking for those who feel just like me. This message can fit basically all of y'all. Cause all of y'all are feel and it can attest to everything that I'm saying. I'm sick of this shit. As simple as that. With that, tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. This is just one of them. Yeah, this video got a different feel to it because this is a one of those hard to hard videos. You know, we chilling together. We out on the bench, chilling together, and just having a hard to hard conversation. Because we, we got to stay focused on why do we do this. This is why we do it, what I'm telling you right now. Because I'm sick and tired of shit. And people trying to make this shit have meaning to it. When it doesn't have no meaning or purpose to it. But they don't tell you that in school. They're never going to say, life doesn't have a purpose and it's meaningless. They're not going to do that. But this is Left Side of the Brain. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. And Jaguars up. HPB's down. And here go the outro music. Left Side of the Brain. <laughs>